I hope it's all going to plan for you this week. Lots more still to come this week. And we're going to be doing some super networking as well, where we mentor each other. Keep watching. All will be explained as we go along. This is Wake Up The Business TV. You'll get the Business Day started program. I'm Richard Midson from shoutpower.com. We're at Kingston Business Biscotti, a Las Iguanas Latin food restaurant in Kingston upon Thames in Surrey today. And, uh, of course, if you want to find out all the details about Kingston Business Biscotti, just go on the internet and have a look for Business Biscotti Kingston. And all the details will, of course, come up straight away. It is the fir la first Friday of every month, isn't it, John? That's correct. Yeah, yep. wonderful. Right, let's have uh, more of an in-depth chat now. We're going to be talking to um, John Ballard now. Now, John, you are from Lime Time Apps. Just tell us very briefly, what is your company, first of all? Oh, we Lime Time Apps is... Uh, uh, a small company. We, we just we build apps for uh, tablets and uh, smartphones. So basically, Apple and Android devices. And so this is or, or what you have been doing. Because I'm really interested to ask you about the way you've changed your business recently. But you've been building them for businesses. Been building for businesses. Uh, so it really, any any small business that, that need needs apps that, um, that the, the sort of promotional devices for their companies. Right. So what sort of thing? What sort of things do you do? So if you get a company coming up to you and saying, you know, I'm a I'm a restaurant, hmm. I need an app. Yeah. So re restaurants is ideal for that sort of thing because they they probably want to have uh, a, a, a a presence, if you like, in the mobile world, hmm. so that they can uh, ha have have their customers looking onto the using the app to, to see what the menus are, perhaps make a booking. Um, ask questions, you know, for booking rooms or booking tables. So it's, it's a way of holding a communication then? That's right. right. And as a business, the business can offer special offers. For instance, you know, use the app and you get a free glass of wine with your meal, that kind of thing. So that's a way of getting people to download it? That's right. Now, look, look, you've just told me that you've completely pivoted your business. Now, pivoted, if you don't know this term, yeah, yeah. means that you've fundamentally changed how you do your business. Mm. Now, it's still to do with apps, but just tell us what you did and why you decided to make that change. Um, what, what I've done is I've actually t I've turned, turned the business around completely. So now, instead of making apps specifically for businesses, we're now making apps for ourselves. Uh, and so the, the, the we we're actually now looking into the games market. Right. So we've la actually just launched uh, a, a new game, right? Um, which is just on iOS for Apple at the moment. And the what's it called? Go on. It's, it's Give called, it a plug. Go on. It's, it's called Ape Vine. Ape Vine. Okay, Ape so Vine, you can have yeah. a look for that. So it's just it's just a fun little app. It's and that's for iPhone, Android, it's or just out, it's just iPhone. Alone. Okay, iPhone and tap and right. uh, I, iPad. Um, uh, but to ask you to answer your question yeah. is, is to sort of why that happened. Um, I, um, I actually went, went to a business show back in May and there was a lady there who was talking about apps and, and she's in the app business and I was, it was looking, she, she basically gave a, a talk on a seminar and was talking about how the business was working for her and some of the things that she was doing to generate the business. Mm. And I, it got me thinking because I thought, well, I know those things, but I'm not doing it in the yeah. same way you are. What are you doing that's different? And so what she's do, the point she, that, was, that was really different was that she was only making the apps for herself rather than for others. And by doing that, you then have complete control over time scales, what the content is, and everything yeah. else. And the biggest problem that, that we've had in making um, apps for businesses is to get the content from the, the customer. So, yeah. in other words, the and business. And this time, now you're controlling that. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. But, but how do you make money from that? If you're making a game for you, so is this one that you've designed the game? You've gone, yeah. okay, this could be fun. Yeah. Yeah, right. absolutely. So, so, so the uh, obviously there's a lot of time and effort goes into the coding of it. Yeah. But there's a, there's probably even more effort and, and time is going into the marketing of it. Um, but the 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 uh, the game makes money by having ads coming up, and they yeah. and they're called interstitial ads. Yeah, I think we've all seen them even on yeah. uh, non-gaming so, apps, haven't we? Yeah. So they just so literally yeah. you get to the end of the process. Yeah. You, you fall over or whatever, and then up pops an ad. Right. Okay. So if you click on it, we get a very small percentage, of, uh, just a literally a point zero um, one of a penny or something, but they all add up. So you get we get get a few pence from that coming through, um, but also there's some in-app purchases available. So people are fed up seeing the ads, right. they can pay, uh, you know, ninety nine p or whatever it might be yeah. to not have the ads. So how 
how did you get into apps? What were, what were you doing before apps? Oh, I was, I was, I, I was um, in, in looking at um, websites and internet businesses. So right. it' been in that for uh, what twelve years now. Right. So and and that's a business that they're still going. Yeah. Um, but that was kind of it really led on from there because the the skill sets and the technologies involved aren't that different. Yeah. And it was talking to a customer one day who was talking about having a mobile website, and it, we then got talking about apps. I said, like, actually, maybe maybe what they needed yeah. was an app. Because we hear about this several. I mean, a friend of mine has got. Uh, I mean, he's got a relaxation app, yeah. which has been in the top fifteen in America for the past couple of years. Yeah. And so it's amazing how if you come up with something reasonably high quality, because there's an awful lot of dross out there as well, then it can really make an impact. So what about in terms of designing these games? So are you, where are you getting your research for that from? Because there's an awful lot of games out there, aren't there? How can you compete in that there, market? There are, and um, the, the, the only the, a good example I can give you is um, there's a, there's an app out there now, uh, which is called. Get the name for a minute, but basically it's um it's a gem gemstone type game where you have you lots of these things drop down. One of the very simple but highly addictive Sim games. Simple, highly yeah. addictive. Okay, and there's one particular company that's that's basically done exactly the same as they. There's many, many out there already. Yeah. But they just did it in a slightly different way. Yeah. And it got it caught on. Yeah. And they're now worth millions. Yeah. In fact, if not billions. Yeah. But it's and it's just a matter of you can pick up on ideas that people are already doing and just make it better. Right. Right. And that's that's good advice actually in business generally. Actually, yeah, yeah. I'm taking that slightly away from there. Is yep. that often the original ideas and I've tried this in the past can completely fail. It's when you do something better, mm. which often you have more success. That's right. Yeah, uh, John, you are one of the uh, one of the organisers of this event, so I yes. want to ask you a bit about Kingston Business Biscotti as well. Mm -hmm. um, just tell us how long's it been going, and where do people find details, and tell us a bit about it. Well, Business Biscotti, uh, um, as a as an organisation, I think, um, and don't quote me on this, I think <laughs> around about three years, that kind of thing. Uh, started started by. Um, a lady called Sue Reeves, yeah, um, who's uh, Reading based. Yeah, and we've had her on there. one of the That's technical right. test yep. shows on this. Um, yeah. And the, uh, the the Kingston um, business biscotti. In the current venue, we've uh, we've been going for about six months. Before that, we were at uh, another venue for probably another six or eight months. Mm. And um, and we've we've moved around simply because the venues we're in um, had uh, yeah, they had other things going on and right. we weren't able to host us anymore. Um, so as, as a group we've been going for a couple of years now as a Kingston Biscotti. And we, we were saying also in this program as well is that this really is a very affluent area. There's a lot of money, a lot of opportunity mm. for business. If you can afford to actually live in this area, of course, is the other problem as well. So, but you know, you do see the diversity of the people coming in here, don't you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and this venue is great because we're right next to the town centre. Yeah, sadly um, you can't see this, but right yeah. outside behind the camera <laughs> is the town centre. Absolutely. So. We're, we're right there, right on top of the town centre yeah. and that's actually an interesting thing that we've noticed over the last few meetings is that we're getting a lot of people turning up who are completely new we've never seen before and they're coming along because they realize it's right on top of where you know right next to where they're working yeah. whereas the previous venue which is only just down the road was another 10 or 15 minutes walk for them yeah and so they weren't they weren't coming along so right so people can find out details where um, on the Business Biscotti website, so it's businessbiscotti.co.uk. Yep, businessbiscotti.co.uk and the Kingston Group. And the Kingston Group, that's Excellent. right. Excellent. Right, don't forget if you've got a meeting or a business gathering or a show or expo or anything like that that you'd like to have featured on Wake Up to Business TV, then do let us know. Just go to wakeuptobusiness.com and click on contact and send us a message. There's a ton of promotional benefits to having us film at your event as well, so do get in touch with us today. Uh, it's time to have a look at our resource of the week as well for this resource of the week. It's more of a general thought, in fact, in, in the past, and this is something actually John can relate to as well. Um, if someone wanted to buy from you and you didn't have the forms or whatever, you risk losing the sale. But today, your smartphone can act as a chip and pin device. Companies like PayPal, Square, all kinds of people offer these add-ons that you can add on to any kind of iPhone or to an Android as well that allow you to actually take credit card payments on the spot. They can cost you about sort of 50 quid to actually buy these things, but once you've got it, you're no longer stuck with having to get back to people or having to get a, chi a pin chip and pin machine plugged into the wall. So now you're able to, even if you're standing on the top of Mount Snowden, to take a credit card payment if you can get a mobile phone signal as well, though, isn't it? That's the only problem if you're yeah, on top yeah. of the mountain. But anyway, it does give you that opportunity. So it's great talking to you, John. Thanks very much for that. Lots more still coming up. Um, 
it's the kind of advice you can get at these sorts of events as well, as you can see here. Just the people walking in right now behind us, more people gathering at this event. The diversity of the information you can get, we're going to be finding out more of the ideas that we can discuss in just a few moments' time. So we'll be back tomorrow, we've got some of your questions, and then after that, the next day, we're going to have some super networking, where all three of us are going to, uh, and that includes Neville, who's just doing some more networking as well, are going to be discussing ways that we can help each other as well. Over the past few minutes, you've been part of Wake Up To Business TV. Now, carry on the conversation on Twitter at hashtag wakeup, the number two, biz, or go to shoutpow.com for links. If you'd like us to come to your event, it's free. Simply send us an email at info at wakeuptobusiness.com and we'll send you details about how you can use the show to promote your event. We hope to see you very soon.